Cookie Swirl C. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching Cookie Swirl C. If you are new here, hello, my name is Cookie and I love collecting toys. So this is gonna be a really fun video because I went to Goodwill and I finally found some toys that I actually collect. I have a really hard time finding toys. I think they're either bought up by the time that I do actually go to Goodwill or people are not donating their toys. So I actually found some goodies this time. So I've got two little surprise bags that we're gonna be checking out and a few other things that I got at Goodwill. I hope this video inspires you and reminds you that you don't have to be of a certain age to collect toys. Toys are for everybody. I actually think the older you are that you collect toys, the more amazing you are. You should be a hundred years old and still collecting toys. Let's get into the video. So here I have my bag. You can see it's stuffed. I have it filled with some things. I found this horse. It looks vintagey to me, like early 2000s. I got it for 99 cents. Its tail is in really rough shape. Same thing with its mane. It's very fluffy. It's very frizzy. It has this really interesting like head decoration piece right in between its ears. It looks like it's made from Mattel. Oh, it is, it is. Okay, I finally found its marking. So it actually says Mattel on the inside of its leg. I thought this would be a good rerouting project. I might take this horse if I can't fix its mane and tail. If I can't get it all cleaned up, I may end up repainting it and redoing its hair. You know, I'm seeing like a really long rainbowy mane and tail, something like that. So I just wanted to rescue this horse. Figured for only 99 cents, why not? It's just a dollar, a dollar, not even a dollar. I found this coloring book that has the most beautiful images inside that you can color. You guys know I love junk journaling. I think these colored and then glued into a journal would be absolutely perfect for journal backgrounds. I found this for $1.99. I found these two piggy books. I had no idea Piggy actually made books. So I thought that these would just be a quick, fun read. And I got them for 99 cents each. Every once in a while in the book, you'll also find some images too. Did anyone know that, that Piggy actually made books? Hopefully these will be good. Now let's get into the collectibles that I found. I am so happy with this. This is such a rare find for me. I rarely find toys. I just, I rarely do. Most of them are toys that I don't collect. So we got a bunch of random things that are inside of here that are all bagged up. I paid $2.99 for each of these random bags. The reason I got this one, I mean, not only because you can see an LOL pet right there, but do you see that right there? Uh-huh, that's a happy place to Shopkins. Yep, I found Shopkins at the Goodwill. Let's cut open bag number one. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Mm, yes, more Shopkins, I see them. So we've got Peachy Shopkins. It's one of the re-releases because you can see the little gold medallion on the back there. I believe she was from season three. Have a happy places at Shopkins, which is perfect because these two Petkins go together. You can actually put the towel over the hamper basket. We have a Petkins car. It's one of the ones that was made for McDonald's, so that's one of the Happy Meal toys. Toys. All right, what else do we have? We've got a Disney Alice in Wonderland cat, also made for McDonald's. I don't know what these little rolly toys are. I've never seen them before. One's a unicorn, one's an emoji. They have little wheels on the bottom. I don't know what they're from. Do you know what they're from? Got a stretchy band, some sort of colorful, strange fidgety toy, a bouncy ball, some LOL pets, but one of them is just the head. She doesn't have a body. Wait a minute, I got two cats now. <laughs> Oh, they kind of smell like cigarettes. That's sad. Don't smoke. If you smoke, quit now. I believe these are the little mini pets that come with uh, rainbow corns. I've only reviewed a few of them, so I'm not too familiar with them, but that's what they look like to me. Those two little lambs are so cute though. What is this character from? I've got a little strawberry mold here and the S on there makes me think it's for Shopkins but I don't recognize it at all from Shopkins, but it is made by Moose Toys and Moose Toys did make Shopkins. Got some LOL drink cups, an unofficial water bottle, pretty good Barbie size though. Another LOL drink cup and I believe that's an LOL bag, a random little clothing piece. It would not fit LOL and it does have movable arms. Really cute little pick sling doll, tiny little pair of wings. It looks like it would fit the doll, but it doesn't. A pony with cute lashes, random football player, a little beanie boo clip. I love how sequenced it is. We have a few more random pieces, an alarm clock. It almost looks like these two pieces would go together. Like the clock would be something that belonged to the white rabbit. Little half a ring piece. There we go, that the little wings actually clip into. So it's a little wing ring, a tiny bow that has nowhere to go, a mini little ice cream man, hi, another McDonald's toy, a little tiny Hatchimal. Oh, I think we got a match. The bow may fit onto this pup. No, doesn't fit. A little soft ball, another stretchy band, a teeny tiny little zip pouch. When you unzip it, it's got really cute strawberries on it. And the inside, it has a little pencil. 
one of those ones that you can keep refilling and you know, when this ink runs out, then you put on a new heart. That's still nice and sharp. That's never been used. It says RL on the back. Do you think that stands for real littles? Maybe. And the last few pieces, it looks like we've got another one of those bows that is mismatched with something. Oh, wait a minute. I see what it goes to. I see what it goes to. These two little mini rainbow corns have bows and these ones don't. And they have a square slot on their head so they can probably fit the bow right there. Got it. Got two of them to wear bows. Now I'm just missing three more bows. And the last thing in this bag for $2.99 are these little food pieces. We've got, it kind of looks like a sloppy joe and a cupcake, but... There's actually a surprise inside if you actually know these toys. There's actually a cute little critter on the inside. Cute, cute little Hatchimals on the inside. This lot was definitely worth it for $2.99. I love finding Shopkins because you can't find them anymore. So I love finding them. But then there's also some LOL in here. I think this was pretty good. The only negative thing about this is that it does smell like cigarette smoke really bad. But hopefully once I get them all clean, that smell will go away. So that was bag number one. Let's compare it to what I got in bag number two. Okay, this is looking pretty good. This is kind of looking like the Hatchimal bag. So let's see what we got. Looks like we've got a Lucky Fortune toy. It does not have the fortune on the inside. Have this squeezable unicorn keychain. Three little pixeling dolls. I have a feeling this is all from the same person. Whoever owned all these before, it probably came from the same home, both bag one and two. It's interesting how these two, which I own this one, I have this one as part of my collection, are different than this one, because this one actually has a bendable leg, while these ones you cannot move them around. So I wonder if that's a feature that they went and added in later. I got a magical wand. I love this. This makes me so happy. I love pick me pops. So we've got this cute little pony pick me pop fluff ball, a bow with no arrow. I like these toys. I'm not sure where this flocked unicorn is from. I've been a little bit behind on some of my reviews, on my toy reviews, but she looks like a panda, doesn't she? It's like a panda unicorn. Yeah, there we go. She looks like she fits onto the swan perfectly. And they're that same plummy purple color. So those two probably go together. And this, it looks like a really nice horse from also the collection. That is so cute. Yeah, see, she actually fits onto it. The horse is part horse and part dragonfly. It's got six legs. Did you notice that? I did not notice that right away. I love these. So this one didn't have as many random toys like bag number one. This one's more themed because look at how many Hatchimals this one came with. This is basically an instant Hatchimal collection. Let's take a closer look at these and actually make sure they're Hatchimals because I'm actually seeing a teeny tiny little baby littlest pet shop in here. Right there. Do you see it? Do you see that tiny, tiny little thing? Yep, that's a Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, wait, and look. Look at what else I found next to it, too. Do you see that? Do you see that shiny silver thing? Oh, what's this, too? We found a key and a tiny snowman? Wait. Wait a minute. There's more. There's a tiny tiara. Ah, there's a Shopkins in here. <gasps> the Shopkins. Oh wait, and there's something else. Okay, there's just too much. I'm, I'm getting excited. Okay, let's let's take a look at this. So here's some little Hatchimals that have like a little space helmet on. Actually, it looks like they have little flippers. So maybe this is for them to go underwater. I'm not familiar with this collection, but I wish I was because these ones look really cute. Here's a collection of Hatchimals with little mermaid tails. I'm pretty sure those are gonna be color changers too. They look like there would be color changers. See, when I touch it with my warm hand, yeah, it wants to color change the pink. So cute. Can you believe this? Just for $3. I think the Hatchimals alone are just worth it. I'm sorry, but look at that cow. That cow's little face and how it kind of has its belly up. It's so cute. We've got two little flocked Hatchimals. Look at how sparkly and snowflakey these ones are. They've got glitter. These ones must be part of a winter collection too. Love that one with a snowball and a little beanie. These ones look like they're from the very first series of Hatchimals that they came out with. I actually have those unicorns and I had the owl, the Una owl too. Here's a few more of them. That purple one in the middle. Oh, I love that. Is that part bug, part bird? I hope so. I've got a tiny little yellow sparkly one. This one that has hair. It has like troll hair. Oh yeah, this was back in the day. You know I'd be doing some sort of troll role play with this. <gasps> that would be so fun. I love how decorated this one is. It actually looks like a candy. This one is really unique. I didn't even know they made ones that are kind of outside of like kind of mammals. <laughs> Basically, it's a starfish. She even has her little Hatchimal wings on the back. Those are all the Hatchimals that were in the bag. Now I have this little miscellaneous little accessories and these three right here. So we have a tiny itty bitty Littlest Pet Shop seahorse, a Shopkins, Miss Sprinkles, and another Rainbow Corn, one of the little miniatures. Yes, okay, so both bags actually came with Shopkins. That's a win. Now let's look at these accessories. Two tiny itty bitty little snowmen. I don't know what they go with, but they're adorable. Wait a minute, this actually 
actually looks like a little stand. It could be for the pixeling. They've got a hole at the bottom or it could be for the Hatchimal. Oh, it's for the Hatchimal because this one right here is already standing on one to ice skate. There we go. Now they go together. There's a tiny little pair of earmuffs. I don't see any of the pets that actually would have this shape. So it would fit on their heads. So maybe it doesn't go with anything in this bag. Ah, but this little tiny tiara would go with one of the little rainbow corns from bag number one. It fits. And then I have a tiny little key. Looks like it fits with like a journal of some sort, which is not included in bag number two. And the last thing in this collection is this rainbow corn egg that goes with the lion rainbow corn. I like this bag a lot too. One of my favorites is the pick me pop. And I do love that it was really focused actually on Hatchimals on this bag. They did a pretty good job at Goodwill gathering all those up. What do you think? Which collection do you like better? Bag number one or bag number two? Bag number one had more Shopkins and variety, but bag number two, didn't have as many random toys, which sometimes can be a benefit too. And it did have a pick me pop. I do like that. I love how both bag number one and bag number two had a clip unicorn that you can clip on your purse. I want the unicorn craze to come back, the unicorn craze of 2017 to return. I want that to come back so bad for the world. So let me know, did you like bag number one or bag number two better? If you have any of these toys still in your collection, I recommend that you hang on to them. Hatchimals are still made, but it's just kind of fun to hang on to things because you never know. You never know when you may come back around to collecting them. I'm very thankful whoever donated these bags of toys because they will be cherished in my collection for for sure. And I thank you for watching. Love things that make you happy. Have more of those things in your life. Be proud. Do not be ashamed to like toys. Toys are for everybody. And everyone needs to remember that, that they are absolutely for everyone. Have fun, enjoy your life, and keep being amazingly you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.